And um, so for this next part of the tutorial, we're going to add a form to the website. Um, this is a new assignment, but um, part of the same like general idea. We're still working with this same website. You know, before we jump into adding a form to our website, I just want to show you, you might be unhappy with um, the background that you chose when you first did your site. Like I'm looking at mine right now and it's functional, but it doesn't really have like any sort of like visual appeal. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to more actions. I'm going to go down and I'm going to say to manage site. I'm going to go to manage site. It's going to give me an option here on the left toolbar to adjust my themes, colors, and fonts. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to change from simple. And I have like, I mean, there are just a bunch of different options that I have here. You might wind up choosing like four or five before you find the perfect one for yourself and don't be shy to like take a little bit of time to find the right one. So let's just try for the sake of uh, this. It'll give me like a little preview. Um, and I'm even able to like go to my content area and um, I can change like that color to match or be similar if I'd like. I could also change it to be something totally contrasting. Um, so it kind of depends on what what you're interested in. In any case, when you're happy with what this looks like, um, and again, don't go too crazy, uh, go ahead and hit save. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to add another page to our, our website. So go back to your computer applications website. And it says to click on the new, new page icon um, to the right of the pencil. So right here, we're going to hit create new page. And we're going to call the new page adding a form. And so this is where I hope that you did a pretty good job on uh, your creating a folder and a form assignment because we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a web page. We're going to say put at the top layer, put at the top level, hit create. And then in the insert menu, as soon as we get back in here, we're going to go to insert. And watch how nice this is. We can just go to insert um, spreadsheet form. So I go to drive and then form. And it's right here, my three question quiz. So I, you can see I've created a lot of these, um, but here's the one that we created the other day in class. I'm going to hit select, right? I'm going to choose um, 600 pixels for height. If I wanted it to be the whole page, I could leave this blank. And so that's an option. Or I could just let the width be a little bit smaller so it doesn't quite take up the whole page. I hit save. And there it is. In this case, since it's not going to take up the whole width of the page, I'm going to center the form. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to hit save. And it'll go ahead. It'll process. And... that's what it looks like. There's my form. And so now if somebody came to my website, they could just go ahead and they could um, fill out this form and uh, submit it and I'd get that response. And so that's a pretty nice, pretty nice way that people could, you know, create business or get referrals for their business um, and so on and so forth. Once you're done with this, um, you're going to go ahead and, again, you don't need to submit your form, um, but make sure that you've saved it so that the whole form appears. Let's see this here at the top. Grab your snipping tool. I'm on my um, Mac right now, so I'm not going to use my snipping tool, but um, let's just go ahead and take a shot of the entire page, Okay, showing all the tools of your website, showing the form that you just added. And uh, and obviously showing this here down here at the, in the in the body of your website. All right, and that's it for adding a form to the website and this second portion of creating a Google site. Thanks.